Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Civil Engineering Academy. My name's Cody. Let's go ahead and get started. So today we have a soil mechanics problem, and in particular, we're going to be talking about some uh, dry unit weight and some moisture contents. Uh, here's what the question says: A Proctor test was performed on a soil that has a specific gravity of solids of 2.70. Uh, the following results were gathered from tests. We see our moisture content there. We see our total unit weight in pounds of force per cubic foot. Uh, and then the question says the dry unit weight at 19% moisture content is most nearly. And then we see our four options there. So uh, the way that we need to attack this one first off, uh, if you're looking for some reading material in the FE manual, you're going to find it on page 259. And then in the PE manual, you're going to find it on page 139. All right. Uh, so when we look at that, we need to understand, we need to look at a formula. This isn't provided in the FE. However, you can solve for it. Uh, it gives you enough information to where you can solve for it. Gamma D, so our dry unit weight is equal to our gamma total. So our total unit weight over 1 plus the moisture percentage or the moisture content right we are looking at 19 which is right in between here that's kind of what we're looking at so our ultimate goal is to find the dry unit weight so what we can do is we can find the total unit weight of 18 percent and 21 percent sort of find our slope we can assume a linear relationship uh, because the curve at that point is pretty close to uh, being linear and we see uh, we're not really talking about decimal points in the answer. So it's going to give us a pretty good idea. This is the quick way to solve for this. Remember, we're trying to think quick. We're trying to solve this guy in like five, six minutes. With that said, whenever you solve for the dry unit weight, so gamma D of 18, you're going to get 101.69. And I'm going to actually move the FE and PE text over a little bit. Okay, so I'll move the text over. For 21%, you end up with 107.44. So if you're watching this problem on YouTube and you know a better way to solve this, leave it in the comments below. We're obviously open to ideas. Uh, this is just the way that my brain operates. So uh, when you do that, we can sort of find an average. We can find the slope of our uh, graph just to kind of show you what we're doing here. We have an X and a Y. You have your moisture down here. You have your dry density right here. And your graph looks something like that. We are like right in here, I think. So that's kind of where we're at, just to give you a point of view. And then if we zoom in here, the curve actually looks a little bit like that. And all we did was we assumed a linear relationship. So this is 18.18 uh, with, uh, with our dry density of 101.69. Uh, up here we have 21 as our moisture, 107.44 as our dry density. And so whenever we solve for the slope between those two points, you can go 107.44 minus 101.69. We can put that over 21 minus 18. And this guy ends up being 1.92. So this is our slope for this line right here. That's all we solved for. So if we're wanting to solve for 19, what we'd need to do is use our initial point, our initial Y, which is this 101.69. Remember, we didn't start from 10. We started at 18. So that 18 is our initial point. So we need to multiply 1.92 times 1 because we're moving 1. Uh, one percentage up to 19 right here uh, and then we need to add that 101.69 hey while I've got you here if you've already enrolled in one of the review courses at civilengineeringacademy.com keep it up you can do this if you haven't I encourage you to go to civilengineeringacademy.com to check out some awesome practice exams and resources to help you pass your FE and PE exam the first time here's what our equation looks like 101.69 plus 1, because remember, we're moving from 18 to 19, so 1 times 1.92. All I did was I created a, a slope formula. That's really it. 
and this guy ends up being 103.61 and this is pounds per cubic foot and our answer bank let's see it looks like it's a so i hope this video helps and we'll catch you next time